introduction and preparation. Greet the patient and introduce yourself. Confirm the patient's identity by asking for his or her name and checking the armband. Explain the procedure and ask whether the patient has any allergies, questions or concerns. Obtain verbal consent from the patient for the procedure. Prepare the equipment. Disinfect your hands with disinfectant. Put on non-sterile gloves. Extend the patient's arm and inspect the anticubital fossa or forearm for suitable veins and for scars, wounds and or infections. Apply the tourniquet 4 to 5 finger widths above the anticubital fossa. Locate and palpate a suitable vein. Clean the skin with an alcohol swab for 30 seconds in a circular motion from the center outwards. Allow the skin to air dry for 30 to 60 seconds. Assemble the vacutainer needle and vacutainer barrel. Anchor the vein by holding the patient's arm below, not above, the venipuncture site. With the bevel facing up, insert the needle swiftly into the vein at a 15 to 30 degree angle. Steady the barrel with your non-dominant hand whilst gently inserting a tube into the barrel. Allow the tube to fill with blood and remove once the tube is appropriately filled. If required, insert the additional tubes for required tests. Release the tourniquet. Withdraw the needle gently and apply gentle pressure to the site with a dry, clean cotton wool ball. Discard the vacutainer needle together with the vacutainer barrel into the shaft container. Secure the cotton wool with a tape. Apply the tourniquet 4 to 5 finger widths above the anticubital fossa. Locate and palpate an appropriate vein. Clean the area of skin with an alcohol swab for 30 seconds in a circular motion from the center outwards. Allow the skin to air dry for 30 to 60 seconds. Assemble the safety needle and syringe. Remove the safety needle cap. Anchor the vein by holding the patient's arm below, not above, the venipuncture site. With the bevel of the needle facing upwards, enter the vein swiftly at 15 to 30 degree angle. Withdraw 10 milliliters of blood slowly into the syringe to avoid hemolysis. Release the tourniquet and withdraw the needle gently. Apply pressure on the site with a cotton wool ball. Do not change needles between blood sample collection and the inoculation of blood into the tubes. Inoculate blood into the blood tubes. Do not hold onto the tube while inoculating as this increases the risk for a needle stick injury. The safety needle must be engaged immediately and discarded with the syringe into the shop's container. Secure the cotton wool ball with a tape. And gently rotate it. Thank the patient and ensure that the patient is comfortable. Discard all used medical waste into the red bin and discard all used general waste into a clear transparent bin. Remove your gloves. Wash your hands with soap and water or disinfect your hands with disinfectant.
Label the blood tubes with a patient sticker. Complete the laboratory form. Insert the labelled blood tubes and the laboratory form into the specimen bag. After documenting the procedure, the specimens may now be sent to the lab. If needed, recheck site for bleeding.